Nothing says pasta like cheese. Anyways, the old Kud here coming back at you with another exciting video. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of a rotary grater. In my opinion, of all these like slice and dice kind of tools that are out there, when it comes to cheese especially, I think these do it the best. And this company, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly, Urukom? I believe that's how you say that. Anyways, this is what the box looks like. Here's some, you know, basic photos that are on the box. There's the front, I guess, or the side or whatever. Here's the back side, kind of showing you what's going on there. So you can just kind of see what's happening. And then here's like some more information. If you want to go ahead and grab a screenshot, product features, all that good stuff. There's what the bottom looks like. And here's what the side looks like, the other side, if you want to go ahead and check that out just so you can kind of see. Anyways, enough with the boxing and the packaging. Okay, here's what basically comes inside of the box, right? There's a little cleaning wand so you can get in there and clean all the individual pieces. You do get three, one, two, three cutting wheels. So there's like a bigger, coarser, you know, chopper, and then there's a slicer. So if you wanted to slice, like let's say cucumbers or carrots or whatever the case may be or whatever, you kind of get the idea. And then this is the one that I'm going to use today in today's video to cut up that pecorino cheese to kind of get it to pasta, you know, worthiness. <laughs> and then the real gem of this entire kit is the vegetable peeler, right? Like if you're going to be peeling vegetables or whatever, these are super sharp steel and very easy to cut yourself so be careful when using this obviously you know take your time with it you know use care and caution that kind of stuff you do also get uh, a little bit of an instruction manual it shows you how to like put it together and all this stuff which i'm going to show you in person in real time here in the video and then here's the back side of water you know if you want to go ahead and take your screenshots or do whatever you got to do there so you kind of see what's going on but anyways the main body of the kit is right here basically you have a base with a silicone grip that you basically put on your counter surface and then I'll do it this way just so I could show you but what you do is you would turn this wheel and that's what locks this onto your countertop now depending on what kind of cutting board you use sometimes you can get away with attaching this to the actual cutting board right and it'll seal right if you press and do it like it'll seal correctly and obviously if you're doing this with two hands you kind of get the idea but sometimes it won't. So sometimes you may have to readjust that seal. So don't, don't worry if this loses suction. Just put it onto a countertop, you know, press and then turn the wheel. Oh, let's see if I can do that. And now that sucker's locked in there. You kind of get the idea. So anyways, with that being said, that's the base. And then here is the actual, like the body, I guess is what you would call it. I just clean this. There's a little bit of water residue in there, but you kind of get the idea. But basically make sure that you wash and clean all of the components in some kind of like warm soapy water just before you use them because there are like oils and manufacturing stuff that goes on that you just want to make sure that your, you know, parts are completely clean before you use them. Then here is the pusher thingamajiggy. That's the technical term, right? That I'm calling it basically this is what helps you to push the food items through the body which then goes through the cutting wheel you kind of get the idea and then here's the handle so let me show you all how this let's see if I can do this with uh, one hand or with two hands let me show you all how this all comes together so basically the base right I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it facing this way just so I can show you how this works so basically when you when you put this on there this part turns, right? Let's see if I can get this on camera, sorry. So this part turns and that's what causes the suction and just push push down on it just ever so slightly so that you do get a good seal, right? And then once you get it to where you want it, the actual body part now goes in there like so, right? And it'll click into place. So you hear that click. And then to release this, if you ever had it, when you're ready to clean it to release it, you basically push down on this and then it'll release and then the body will come back out again. Okay, to attach the cutting wheel and the handle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one because I'm trying to grate up that beautiful cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to put it in there. There's, there's only really one direction that it'll go in. Like obviously you don't want to put it in this way, right? Because that's not going to work. But you want to put it in this way. Right, and then the end part will poke through. See how that poked through? And then now what you do is you take your handle, and if you notice on the handle, here's your here's your release lever for the handle. But if you notice on the handle, there's a little clip right there, which corresponds to either this hole or this hole. So you have two different options there to put it into. But as you get it in there and you put and you put your cutting blade in, 
See that hole right there? So now what I want to do is I want to correspond it to this clip right here and it should align very nicely. And you hear another click, hear that click. And then now you know that it's secured in place. Okay. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to turn this the opposite direction just so I can do this a little bit easier. And you do notice that you do have a little bit of room here to play around with, right? When you're actually doing this. So let me go ahead and set this up in an angle just so you can all see what's going on. Once again, I'm going to, I'm going to push down slightly and then turn the wheel to lock it and seal it to the countertop. That's the whole base unit. And then now let's see through the magic of television, <laughs> if I can actually do this so you can actually see what's going on. So I'd say that I'd say that's about a good angle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I have a little collection bin here, which this does not come with the unit, but you know, you could use a plate, a dish, you could use a bowl, you know, you could put whatever you want there to kind of catch the cheese or whatever it is that you're grading to come out. But I'm going to use this because this is my designated cheese bin or whatever. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up just a piece of this cheese here. Okay, so here is my Pecorino Romano, right? And a good tip or trick is put this leave this in the fridge for as long as you possibly can before you start grating it or grinding it. And the reason for that is because the harder or the more firm this is, the easier it is when it grates, when it actually goes through the, the grater and it'll grate more smoothly. If this is soft or too soft, you might get some mushiness. You might get some like splatzing where it's just kind of like, that's a technical term by the way, splatzing, but it'll, what it'll do is it'll just smear. So another technical term, but if, if this is firm, Whatever it is that you're grating, carrots, you know, uh, mushrooms or whatever the case may be, the firmer they are, the easier they are to grate. What you could do is put your item in the freezer for maybe like five minutes just to firm it up even more so that it becomes even easier to go ahead and grate and do, you know, that whole spiel or whatever. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, show you how this works. So this goes in here, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my plunger, right, and go ahead and give it a push. I'm going to turn my handle. Let's see if I can get this in there. I'm going to turn my handle. And then what you end up with is beautiful cheese right there, as you can see, or as you saw, that just comes right out. And then obviously the process, you know, repeats itself. And look at how beautiful all this cheese came out, like perfect to be put on pasta or whatever rice, you know, or whatever the case may be. So anyways, that's the essence of how it works. You can do this over and over again. Do whatever you have to do. Disassembly to take it all apart is take your plunger part out, right? Unclip the handle. Let me show you all that. So you would, you would uh, let's see if I can get this on camera. So you would basically push down on this, right? This, the handle comes out. Then this part pushes through and the whole piece comes out. And then now you can go ahead and wash, you can go ahead and wash this or do whatever you need to do, but you kind of get the idea. Anyways, I will put links down there below in the description. I'll also put them in the comment section, so make sure to check those out. I will also put this on my on my Amazon storefront, so that'll be there for you to check out and do your own research and get more information, et cetera, et cetera. In terms of the quality, the build, the materials, all that good stuff, I feel like you're getting a good quality product here. For the, for the amount of money that you're spending and what you're getting in return, these are a good, a good steal right? That I feel is very sharp. It'll, it'll last a while. So you kind of get the idea there. And then in terms of the actual body, the plastic, I feel like you're getting a really good quality plastic as well here. Something that's going to last something that's durable. It's a little bit thicker than some of the other brands that I've seen, which is kind of nice in terms of the ease of use, the clicking, the ability, right? The locking mechanism. Let's take a look at that again. So you got a nice solid click there so you know what's going on in terms of taking it apart it's just push down and pull you know pretty fairly simple you know easy to use stuff and then in terms of like back here right remember to disassemble this you would basically push down here and this part comes forward and then this part comes out you know you can wash it warm soapy water you kind of get the idea and then in terms of the base unit, again, like I feel like you're getting a really good quality plastic here. The, the mechanism that they use to seal this, right? So when you turn, if I get this on camera, so when you turn the knob, what's going on is it pulls, it pulls this up and you can actually see the, let's see if I can get a good angle here. But what it does is it actually, see that, see that pulling motion, 
where it's actually pulling the bottom part into the top part. See that pulling motion right there? There you go. So this pulls and creates a suction, which then locks us onto the countertop. Make sure you're using a clean countertop, obviously. And like I said, if you are gonna try to use, if you are gonna try to use this onto a cutting board directly, just make sure that the cutting board is smooth, that it has a smooth surface so that this can actually work. I don't believe this will work on a wood cutting board because the wood is too porous and you won't get a proper seal or proper suction. But you know, with all that being said, as you put this down, right, clean surface, make sure you give it a good wipe as you put this down and then turn, remember push down a little bit to give it a little bit of pressure, turn the button or the knob, and then now you've got a good seal and this isn't going anywhere. Anyways, with that being said, links are down below in the description and also in the comment section. This will also be on my Amazon storefront. Make sure to check that out. I'm the old coot, and I'll catch you all on the next exciting video. There's how our cheese turned out. If you want to see it one more time, beautiful for nachos, tacos, pasta. You kind of get the idea of what's going on there.